Um, mm. Clay Pigeon shooting cool. That was cool. What else happened in Manchester? Then obviously the main reason why we went was because we wanted to, to eat go good see food. Peter Russell. To eat good food. Huh? To eat good food. We ate good food. We had good Frank food. Frank Amanka. Frank Amanka. Only probably the only the second or third time I've been. Impressed? That that starter the garlic bread with the real piece of the garlic. Mm. Really hit the spot. But it was, but it wasn't like your traditional garlic bread itself. It was like, yo, let's do the pizza bread itself and then cut it into eights. Mm. Yeah, but like I, what eight. I liked is sometimes you'll go to these places and they'll give you a full size pizza of garlic bread, which like, is what I didn't want. It's like it's way too much, man. It's like that's not a main. I don't want a main. And obviously at home you'll have more like um, the garlic loaf. Yeah, which is traditionally what you have at home. That's fine. But this is a good mix, like you said. It was just a, is the right amount. Perfect, man. Perfect amount. Only thing I would have said these uh, pizza places they need to have. Lemonato, the San Pellegrino. Oh, lemonato, lemonato for sure, has man. Has to be done, man. Not this flat, homemade lemonade. No, I don't want that. Crap, and they need man. to have mayo. None of them have mayo. They yeah. always have this like weird infusion based thing. Garlic I'm like, mayo. just give me mayo, okay? I'm a, garlic mayo, I'm yeah. a simple man. <laughs> That's it. Garlic it works. Um, yeah. Then we just snacked all day after that because you were pretty full. Yes. So yes we snacked. Yes, yes. We went to like a veggie, a veggie place to get food. Um, oh yeah no no we didn't we, didn't. we, we, we looked we at the walked veggie, into veggie shake shack for shindy and she didn't That's want it. it i said fine so we got a burrito instead right which is we filling uh, really filling yeah you had a burrito. you can eat man as all our listeners will know always man always. always um so went there then we went to go see the main man russell peters himself russell which is great peters at the apollo which we have in birmingham there's was apollo it an apollo yeah it's a, no o2 sorry O2 it Apollo. The O2? Yeah, it's yeah. called O2 Apollo. Oh, it was the O2 because I got it on priority. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Correct. O2 um, priority. Like I said, we have one in Birmingham, which I've never been to. Yeah. Um, the layout was very much similar to the Hammersmith Apollo. Yeah. Oh, just are they linked, by the way? Who? The O2 Apollo and Hammersmith Apollo. I would assume so. Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. I would assume so, yeah. I just thought about that now. But yeah, the layout was the same, but not as nice and grand, obviously, as the Hammersmith Apollo. Um... I Mate, see. how we how we had to water, we had to empty out the water bottles and they gave us the water. Oh my god! Dirt, oh my days! Dirtiest water I've never ever. tasted water so bad before. And the thing is, I didn't drink it until we were inside. It tasted like and water so, from from a bathroom. Like yeah, 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 yeah. No, but even like my bathroom water. No, here, no, 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 no. I'm not about our. I'm not about a public bathroom. Yes, 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 yes. I wasn't sure if the pipes need changing or something, but I had it and I was like, this is <laughs> like, horrible. I'm laughing at a joke and then I'm sipping it. And, and I was like, like, oh my oh. God. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we should just buy water from the bar, man. Next time you got to buy water, man. Thankfully, we had like a, a fresh bottle back in the car afterwards. Yeah. yeah but yeah. that was that was cool. Russell himself, actually, hang on. His DJ, DJ starting from scratch. Yeah, you know, starting from scratch and spinster. spinster yeah, so I spin thought, band, spin band, that's I it. thought he was, it was all pre-mixed because when he was mixing... On the screen behind him, everything the backdrop, was changing, it, was, yeah. it was everything was changing live yeah, yeah, with the yeah, music yeah. video. Yeah. And I was thinking, well, this is all pre-recorded. Yeah. So do you, do you remember how I messaged Bao saying, this guy's on, he's good. Bao said, Raj is there. Raj, you've had in the podcast, is there. Was in the show. Yeah. And then I saw Bao the next day and he showed me a video of Raj standing next to that DJ on the side stage. Oh, really? So we were in the crowd and then Raj was like about 20 feet away, but we didn't know he was there. No way. But he was there and he was showing me. And as I was watching the video, I could see him scratching and mixing with the backdrop. And I thought, that's really cool because I want to know how you do that. Because mm. you have to sync up the music video to go with it and know your timestamps. music's one thing, yeah, yeah. But to yeah. do the video... And the was, video and effects, yeah. so I was like, that was trippy. I was watching it and I was getting a bit... We are getting a bit motion sick, to be fair, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you, you would have thought it's just pre... Yeah, I thought it was all pre-done and sorted. But it wasn't. It was class. Mm. Uh, I was really impressed by him. Saw the warm-up act, who was a, a, a Desi guy. Ali Gadar. Ali Gadar? Something like that. Can't remember his name. Really funny guy. <laughs> he started off slow. Then he warmed up, boom, had it going in a really good groove. <laughs> really good groove, man. He was really good, man. Yeah. Um, solid act. I yeah. Think, I think he'll definitely make it. He's got like a lot of potential in him, man. You can see why Russell is taking him on tour. And Russell himself, he came out and we're like, like Yo, he, looks, to the beach, he looks old, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, felt, I felt the same thing about Chris Rock, but not as much. Yeah. Like Chris is 57. I think Russell's 52. Russell's 52. 51, 51 52. 51 52, same, isn't he? But yeah, he just... He's Asian and he yeah. well, ages a lot quicker. And uh, he was unwell that day. He said he had a sinus problem. So he <laughs> sounded a bit off, but yeah. he looked like he just wearing... He just, looked fine? No, but as in clothes-wise, he looked like he was going to the beach. Man. Oh, yeah, Defo. Had that little sombrero hat on. Beach hat and he had like a, just a baggy little t-shirt and like... Big white t-shirt, yeah. Trousers, yeah. which were just like granddad, man. <laughs> he's proper, uh, proper granddad. Well, he's on his third, third lady, isn't he? So what do you expect? Yeah, he's yeah. probably been through the works, hasn't he, the poor guy? He's comfortable though. Yeah. Um, 
But man, I was really impressed with his act because he Seasoned was. Man. Everyone was always guilty of all the jokes. Even the guy in the first row who was in a wheelchair, he yeah. was he was he was on it for for like a few of them, and everyone felt a bit uncomfortable. But he he gauged it perfectly. He navigated it perfectly. Yeah, he knows how um, to do it. And like we always say, the mark of a good comedian is that imp- real improv. Yeah, where you work in the crowd. His was all crowd work for the first half hour, half and a half, and he kept coming back minutes. to it as well. Like he just he kept coming back to it, sprinkled in bits that he'd already obviously done, pre-rehearsed yeah, yeah. the links but yeah he yeah, knew yeah, it and yeah, i was yeah. like this is so smart yeah yeah no it's just he's just a seasoned veteran comedian um and he's just delivering some good stuff some good topical stuff yeah uh and he's brilliant his segments were really relatable they were like you know i'm with the relatable yeah. about aging you getting think, old you know? huh? how, how old are you how old do you think i am 30 you know yeah yeah we came to your birthday party. <laughs> i'm 30 yeah, man yeah yeah, yeah. 30. yeah yeah so Content was super relatable, even the stuff he talked about when growing up in the 70s and 80s and 90s. It was just, it was good. I I just think there is very little um, that compares to comedy in terms of value. Like, bang for buck, man. We paid 65 quid. Yeah. You know, it's a great day out, great seats, world-class performer. Top man, man, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've never missed a show of his in the UK. He absolutely nailed it. Yeah. Um, I've never seen him live before, innit? So you could tell me if you thought that he was that good, like first time I saw him, excellent. But obviously that was closer to sort of his original stuff. You know, the uh, he got to the one dollar store. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, and the you know, is somebody gonna get hurt real bad? There was that. Then he had a set which was nothing about that, Mm. which I didn't think was as good. Uh, And then this set is just. But he sprinkled it again, like you said, with the old stuff. He does. He does do callbacks, which is nice because people obviously so know him Because we that. like we like that stuff. And, yeah. uh, but everyone it. got it. Like there was a Chinese lady who got it. Yeah, that, that was, was the one. She goes, a, Linda. It was, yeah, she it goes, was Linda. He goes, what's your name? She's like, Linda. He's like, okay. What's your call, Chinese we're name? we call her Linda. <laughs> what's your real name? Lying. You lying? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. It was brilliant, and man. Then we had Mona. Mona. There the, was a lady uh, called Mona who was with an old white guy who was She was Arab, right? Who was 53 and he said, you look like shit for a 53-year-old, right? I was really impressed. <laughs> really impressed. Um, yeah, and everyone was just always a part of it. He made it very interactive and very smart. Mm-hmm. So I was I was pleased. I came out of that feeling like, oh, I'm quite glad I saw him. Yeah. I, I was worried it wasn't going to be as, as good. good as what I'd seen on TV because some comedians don't translate well in that way. But he's obviously done this for so long, he knew exactly the sweet spots to get and how to, no. how to hit it. Because of his last show and I didn't think he was as good, I was thinking, like, is he on the downward trend or is he like, he's still the man? Mm. he's still the man still got it man uh, still got it you know the big guys him rock Chappelle, Hart. these guys are class man mm. we live in a good time man i want to try and see gus khan next oh he came to birmingham i want to see him gus is in um what's the tv show he's in bbc he's in a BBC. man like mobin man like mobin yeah, yeah 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 i like gus yeah he but was, i want to see him live he I, was I, could, here. I just got that feeling that he's going to be something fresh he was here the day after my birthday but How a couple you know of the, it got, I got targeted on Facebook to see oh, him. Okay, show yeah, him. Yeah. I couldn't go. Yeah. But there's a couple of days after Chris Rock. But yes, he does come to Birmingham. Probably does like the Glee Club or something, doesn't he? Wasn't the Glee? Oh, maybe it was a Glee. I don't know. Glee's a really good um, venue. We've been there. See Humble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's so close <clears throat> to the performer. Um, yeah, next place. time, next time, goes his touring. Yeah. Uh, I'm, Let's uh, go, man. I want to see him because I feel like he's he's got awesome. a lot in the locker that needs to be let out a little bit mm, I like um, I think his story is great man I'd, I'd love to try and get him on the podcast if we can but his his story has just been amazing to hear because he was just a teacher and now he's done this it's like uh, and, Romnish, man. Romnish. yeah and then all these producers said how are you this funny he's like people on the road are always this funny you just don't see it mm. and i'm glad he's kind of shining light to, to, to the rougher side of comedy that's more edgy mm. and there's less socially acceptable because that's simply how they that's are. comedy, isn't it? And they're just funny. They're naturally funny. I think that is the beauty of comedy. It's as long as you understand the rules, which is everything's fair game. Yeah, it is. But it should be, right? It's comedy within comedy. Like everybody's a target. Yeah. Everybody's open, you know, game. It should be, Everyone should be can way. get these jokes, they say. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. And it's, that's what it is. You got there to have a good time, man. Mm. It's not a personal attack on anybody. Yeah. Good. Smashed it, man. 